Hey, hey, Ron. Still getting set up. How are you doing today? Always good to hear. I'm doing pretty good. Just setting up and... Between you and me, I'm still eating dinner. <laughs> I figured we'd uh, hang out and... Finish off some dinner and... Then we'll get into some Pal World. And I'm gonna swap song. There's one I really, really like from this particular soundtrack, from the Bastion soundtrack. I think it's Terminal March. It's a very active song, though. on the battle themes. Yeah, it definitely is. I really enjoy the string instruments in it. This entire soundtrack, every every soundtrack that Super Giant Games makes for their games is fucking amazing.
I'm glad to hear you're enjoying it too. Yeah, I love the Bastion soundtrack. It's so good. Also, hi. I don't know if I said hi. We're gonna go for something a little bit less intense now. I swapped over to Faith of Jewel. Oh, sorry, Faith of Jevil from the Bastion soundtrack. Ah, oh, it's such a nice song. I love the entire OST. We're back in Pal World! Yay! <laughs> We're gonna try to make a base out of this place. Let me reintroduce the base here. Since I did that last stream, I want to do it again. So we're over here right now. Near the Mount Floppy Summit. This is just a tiny beach here. There's not really much connection between this and other places. It's just like its own little secluded beach. Also, there's a tree growing out of the bottom of the ocean. But, you know, normal things. And we have this hidden entrance here into our secret double waterfall bay. This is one of my favorite places I've ever found in this game. And we also have our own personal dungeon for whenever we want it and whatever it spawns. Our own little pool. Ah, I wish there was something behind the waterfall. And this goes up quite a few levels, too. Do I? Okay, do you don't have a flying mount yet? I'm gonna need to work on that. How do we get back up? Oh, yeah. I think it's fairly reasonable to climb. So, there's three main levels to it. There's the bottom level down there. There's this level here, which is kind of a uh, gradual slope going upwards to the top of the first waterfall here. Another little cove here. And if we go up a bit further. I'll show off my base layout ideas in a moment. Wrong button. I hope I have enough stamina for this. Oh my gosh, is there a pug in the background? Hi. What's going on? Oh, I had french fries earlier. And she's like, why didn't you give me one? I'll give you one later. 
Oh my gosh, it's so hard to get up here without a flyer. This is definitely a base you want a flying mount for, and we're going to go get one very soon. Trust me. But I want to show, show off the top of the base a bit. So we have like a nice little area here of... Nice little tree grove here with the top of the waterfall. We actually have a fair bit of room. The edges of the base are over here. Where? No, that's not the edge. That's just the natural rain. Here it is. We have all the way over here, all the way around. It actually get you actually get a fair bit of space here. Well, the other idea of this is to make it multi-level. Now, pals don't do very well with mo with having to do with stairs or levels or anything like that. But I'm going to try to live the dream of having a base that makes use of them still. <laughs> so, we're going to see how that goes. Oh, are you just going to sit here and howl all stream? Just cause I didn't give you a french fry? That was going on? You're joined here by my co-host Annabelle. Yeah. Yeah, baby. So, if I might continue, Annabelle. My plan is I want to somehow try and build an artificial platform here going across the middle right here-ish and have stairs going all the way up and down. Or at least that's the idea. Whether that's actually going to work, eh, we'll see. <laughs> First, though, we need stone and wood and all those other things that we like to have, you know, for building and all that. But we're going to go back to the base. Hello, everyone. Yeah, we'll see how things go. Oh. Looks like the pug is gonna have to go outside her bed. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take Sleepy Butt outside. I'll be right back. Okay. She has her own little uh, My Neighbor Totoro bed that she's enjoying. Okay, so we need some stone. Pretty badly. Okay. 
There is all our resources. Probably here. Okay, lots of stone. <laughs> We're going to probably have to move some of this in parts. <laughs> move some stuff away from here. All this shit's good, but... Be better if it's sorted into the sword system we already have. <laughs> oh, also, we have a uh, bigger chest now since the last time. Okay, more stone. We're not going to need too much, thankfully. The actual building in this game is really cheap. Oh. Okay, that should be almost enough. The worst fast travel from the PAL box wasn't different than fast travel from the the fast travel points. And also that fast travel from the PAL box didn't overlap with the crouch button, too. It's a lot of, like, like overbinding of keys in this game where they like one key will do like five things we should get some stone or not stone we should bring some wood with us Kind of important. Okay, we definitely have more wood than that. I don't know where it's all gone. We had way more. Oh, 1,200 woods in there. Okay. That's where all of our wood is. Well, I feel like it's cheaper to build with stone, so we're going to build with stone. Okay. If it is the way that I want to do this, we need to start by building some actual stairs. To do that, we need foundations. Oh, and walls, because this game is weird. Is that enough right there? That might be enough. Yep. Again, weird game. Roof. Oh, I think that's too close to the... Yeah, it's too close to the wall this time. Undo it back. This game is interesting when it comes to building it has some bugs that need to be worked out and it's well i wouldn't it's not so much that it's buggy as it's kind of just quirky <laughs> it doesn't really work the way you'd expect it to work necessarily 
That can be kind of a problem sometimes. Oh, how are you just that close? Fine. I'll just I have to build new chests anyway, so I'll just move them. Yeah. I'm trying to do some actual new music that's not just the same stream music we've been listening to for a while. Because while I love the music that we use for streams, I do, I'm trying to diversify it a bit. Okay, this is not... Hopefully this won't destroy anything. Okay, don't think it actually broke anything. That's good. Don't want it to break anything. Well, that has to be the middle of the area anyways, so... I'm gonna need to put it down somewhere nearby. I'm gonna put it down somewhere nearby, and I want to have stairs to get up. I know, I I am looking for some real bougie things here. Stairs and a way to teleport. I'm gonna try. Okay. Why can't we do this? Overlaps with another object. Will you still overlap if I put a wall? Probably. Did I not move you back far enough? Still learning how this whole game works. It's like, as you can see with some of this stuff, you can overlap a lot of terrain, but you can't overlap all terrain. And I don't totally know what... What counts as overlap, what, like, what you're allowed to overlap, and what you're not allowed to overlap. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move the foundations. Wait, no, I have to move the chest then if I do that. Uh, what's the best way to do this? I'm gonna move... I'm gonna do this. If this works. Yeah, I don't want to go straight up, ideally. Roof. There's. 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 <laughs> Oh no, is that is that little nub on the left side too much into the <laughs> into the wall? Uh Okay, that's probably no, no, is that too much too? I'm gonna build you and you're gonna like it. I don't care how long it takes. You're getting built. Yeah, I was too. I was too excited putting the uh, just onto the the foundation. We need to move the foundation, unfortunately. Come on. There we go. Okay, starting again. 
Because we need to have the foundation far enough away that it will actually let us properly place things. So close to a special boss or facility. Damn it, it's because the PAL box is there. I know, moving the PAL box can fuck things up, but I have to move it. Thanks for warning me, game, but... Okay, let's try now. I'm starting to realize how big of an undertaking it is to build anything in this game. <laughs> and maybe I have made an error. But we will see. No, not you. You. I'm placing a lot of extra shit that I'm going to be getting rid of. So keep that in mind if you're like, why the fuck did she just place that there? Okay, production. You'll get moved over here. You know, away from everything else. Or you cause me any more trouble. Sure, that'll have to be good enough for now. Whoa. Overlaps with another object. Oh, right. Seriously? Well, okay, you're up there, so if you want to try and raid me, you can. You're going to have a lot of trouble with that. God, this stuff needs so much support to, like, actually set it up properly. There, There's definitely some changes that need to be done, fortunately, but whatever. It's still going to try to make something cool. Even if it's really hard. They're just going to, like, mill around over there. Mm -mm. It makes me wonder with the raid going on up there. Can I? Let's see. Can I? Yes, I think I can. Okay. Step one apply penguin. Step two load penguin into cannon. Step three. Fear? It's something. Oh. <laughs> Pinglet did not have a good time, but I missed the raiders. I, hit, I, hit, I think I hit all the trees up there, though. The raiders are like, hurry up with those stairs so we can get down there to harass you. <laughs> yeah, basically. I don't know, they're trying really hard, and I don't think they're getting anywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna put out some more foundations. I'm trying not to like completely destroy the natural beauty of this area, but I mean, <laughs> there's only so much I'm gonna be able to do about that, unfortunately.
Free Pal Alliance hardliners are invading the base. No, they really aren't. They think they are. But really... They're just a bit excited. It's okay, they're just excited kids. We can leave them alone. The enemy has been defeated. <laughs> really? What'd I do? <laughs> it gives you the defeated thing, even if you didn't defeat them, if they just gave up. Because, like, they will give up if they're too far away. If they're just like, I can't get there. Oh, well. Apparently my deer at the other base is taking a break, too. That's... Vital information. Thank you for telling me. Okay, roof. Can I? No, not stairs. Roof. I'm gonna bend up to the roof. Uh, no, maybe I need more roof. More roof. Okay. Wall. No, what's... Oh, it's because the stones are here. Please tell me that's because the stones were there, not... Okay, good. Okay, good, this still works. This is... This is gonna be a really weird undertaking. We're gonna make something... It might not be good, but we are going to make something. I assure you, that was incredibly creepy. Just like, I, I, thought, I thought he was a rock. I didn't notice he was over there. Oh, God. Uh, hello, sir. Can I help you? If you haven't met the Black Marketeer yet, be ready to meet the creepiest NPC in the entire game. Okay, what are you selling? Mariath, Loop Moon, Sweepa, Nox. Eh, I don't really need any of these. Now, is there any friends I don't like? Any friends I don't like? It's just like, I'll take them away for you. They'll never be a problem again. Actually, I think I won't make it pretty still. Your claw is useless. Ilamar is useless to me, so is Mao. Okay. Well, mister, you are going to have to vacate the premises, because holy shit, do you disturb me. Okay, I guess my character is way more alien than him, but like... Weird creature. Okay, what about making a level right here? Of just... Overlaps with another object or character. Can't build here. But you were fine overlapping with everything else. Why that? Why is this where you set the line? Okay, not all of this stuff is the right direction. And I think we're just going to have to be okay with that. Wait, you overlap? And why are you allowed?
No, you apparently overlap. This overlaps as much as that one overlaps, but this one's allowed. That one's not allowed. Wait, hold on. Can I do a foundation? No, foundations don't connect to other things. Other things connect to foundations. Wait. Wait, hold on, I have an idea. This is not how you're supposed to do this, but it might work if I do it right. It's on the verge of working. Oh, no, this one won't work. No, that's not on the ground, apparently. This one is, but that one's not. Uh, can I roof? No, I can't roof against... Apparently roofs can't go on the floor. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that was silly of me. That was silly of me to assume that roofs can't could go on the floor. After all, the rest of this building system makes so much sense. Oh. Not connected to it. Not enough support. I'll get you a therapist. Just, just, like, place, please. Okay, that's not gonna work. Wait, you can place here, but not here. Ugh. So useless. The more I try to do this, the more I feel like I've, I'm making a huge error. Great Roof Floor War of 1676. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to incite decades-old hatred. Between floor and roof kind. No, not bad. Ah, uh, switching the Haiti soundtrack. I like Hades. You know, I could do this the thing that everyone does and just, like, find an open space to place my stuff. But doesn't this look more fun? It's not. I'm dying. <laughs> no. Okay, it's not that bad. It's just, But, like, it is... It, this is certainly an undertaking. Okay. Can I, like make this more stable somehow so that it's, like, happy? No, no, I have stairs there. I can't place walls when there's stairs. That is the legitimate reason for that. See this? This perfectly shaped wall can't place it because there's stairs there. No, that's a roof. Oh, no, that's overlapping. Can't place it there, even though the foundation's placed there. Fine. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna try to break this. Put the wall in. Because walls have to go first for whatever reason. I don't I've yet to figure out why. And now we can safely put the stairs in. Just so long as there's no no stairs in the way. Walls and stairs don't mix. That's why when you go into a house and they have a second floor, they don't have any walls. So it's always exposed to the outside. It's really cold with those houses in the, in the winter. I would say the summer. <laughs> really cold in the summer. Ever since the roof war. I know I uh, fine. Break the thing so I can replace the thing. Oh, there we go. One of these days, like all of this is just gonna come down when I try to break one thing. Oh no, that side's not allowed to have anything. Is that overlapping something? No, it's not. It just thinks it is. The maximum allowable overlap for the objects in this game is somewhere between 1% and negative 12. Sometimes just the mere concept that there might be a wall nearby terrifies all other walls to the point that they're not allowed to be placed there anymore. I really do love this game. I cannot wait till... <laughs> I cannot wait till it gets some more updates. And, like, it, it is an early access, so it's totally fair that it's not amazingly functional yet. Okay. Well, I am building something. If that helps. I don't know if it's a good something, but I am building something. Now, this is probably not how you're supposed to do things. That's all there is to that sentence. This, this is not how you're supposed to do things. Oh, no. So this can overlap. This is fine overlapping. No, no, not that much, though. That's a problem. What if I do this? I'll put a door here. Oh, right. The doors aren't allowed either. Is there anyone that's allowed there? Oh? Okay, I'm allowed to put a roof into here. Roofs are allowed. No, slanted roofs are allowed. Normal roofs aren't. That's not useful. Okay, what if I do stairs that go... Sure, that helps. That's definitely... This is what we... This is what we call wheelchair accessible. Oh... <sighs> 
Like, I, I would actually like to make this build not look terrible, but I am having trouble with that point. <laughs> okay, I need more foundations. Oh, no, that's... Oh, actually, this one I might be able to break. Hold on. It does overlap the wall a bit, but maybe this rock is the problem rock and not that rock. Let's see if this was the special rock that was the problem. Oh, yep, that was a special rock. That was an anti-build rock. Don't worry, I got, I got rid of the anti-build rock. But we just don't encounter any more anti-build rocks. We'll... ...have a problem. I don't know where I was going with that. Can I move this to a place that isn't ass? Put it here. Oh, wait. Hold on. Ever notice how stairs don't tell properly when you put stairs together? Yes! I noticed that and I hate it! It upsets me so much. Ugh. Oh my gosh. No, no, this is too close. Nothing can be too close to the PAL box. The PAL box is special. Which is why it can't be placed on foundations. I don't think. The PAL box be placed on foundations? Is that possible? Oh my god, you can place on the foundations? That's news to me. Okay. What's it overlapping with? On something weird here. Maybe. No. Okay, this is just a special spot that is not allowed to have a foundation. Actually, no, I know what's going on. I know what's going on. See, the stairs are here. And as long as stairs are here, this foundation that's supposed to go here gets scared. So I'm going to take away the scary stairs, and the foundation will be fine now. Yep, see. Perfect. Now I'm going to bring back its natural predator, the stairs. As, as we know, the natural predator of the foundation is stairs. This is overlaps? Oh, it overlaps with the stairs. Right, I forgot. Everything's scared of the stairs. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Now we can put the stairs back, because the stairs have to be on top of everything else. If you're not on top of everything else, well, I mean, why are you even building? I'm sorry, but the scary stairs have to come back. But they can't be gone forever. Oh, that can go there. How far into the wall can this go? Oh no, this one isn't allowed. This is too this is a bridge too far. This is fine. This is a bridge too far. No, this is fine. This right here is fine. But this is a bridge too far. I don't know why. But apparently it is. This is awful. <laughs> stairs the true endgame boss. You know what? I've had more trouble with these stairs than I've had with most of the bosses in this game. And that that's not a joke. Like, genuinely. I've had more trouble with stairs in this game. At least with bosses you can prepare. There's nothing you can prepare to fight the stairs. There's no gear. There's no stats. 
Nothing can defend you against the true boss, the stairs. Oh, my, my axe is broken. That's why it's not working well. Oh, why am I using a stone axe? Oh yeah, I made a temporary. I remember I made a temporary axe just because I didn't have my stone or my uh, metal axe on me. Ah, well, whatever. It's easy to repair this one. Once I clear these, I will be able to put a, make a ramp. Have the special step on E. But this is the se special secret method for making sure that pals can get up on things. You see this? You see this like one foot here? Or half a foot? Nope, too much. You need special stairs. Special pal stairs. Why does this work? I'm just going to try this just for the shits and giggles of it. Oh my god, why does that work? Why does that work and nothing else work? So mad. <laughs> Fine. Fine, two can play this game. By which I mean, I'm just going to be annoyed. I, I don't have any recourse to deal with this. Unfortunately, the chest is just going to win. Or, not the chest, the uh, stair, the terrain is just gonna win. I, I can't do anything to prevent that. The terrain is, terrain is stronger than me. It's been terraining its whole life for this. Me? I've just started. Put some stuff over here. Okay, now we're going to take a quick detour over here to our base. Oh. Oh, the Vixies are having a day, apparently. Look at all the pal balls. Eighty-three pal spheres. Sensible. Did I sleep? Or is it early morning or is it early night? Wait, I don't know why the fuck I'm even asking. There's a clock in the bottom um, left-hand corner. There's like a little little sun down there that shows the duration of the day and night. How? How is this acceptable? How is this acceptable, but not the other things? Can't wait till we get pals that transport goods from base to base. Oh my god! Messenger pingolets? That would be amazing. 
Give the ability to Gale Claws. It would make them useful. Oh, no, apparently that's allowed. Hate this game. <laughs> no. I don't actually hate this game. I'm just somewhat frustrated at its building system being... I would say fickle, but I feel like that's an insult to things that are fickle. Oh, no, that's fine. Oh, that's fine! And yeah, no, let's go back here again. Does this work? No, no, that's still a problem. No, that's still, it's still too much for it. This, actually, this makes you wonder something. I have a stupid idea. Okay, here's my rationale. There is a raw, a damp, uh, like a, a uh, breakable rock inside there that is spawned in the terrain. And I can't place it inside the breakable oh, rock. I didn't see any damage numbers, so I don't think it worked. I think I just damaged the base. <laughs> Had to try. You now, if I'm lucky, I'll actually be making something cool. I don't know if this is cool. I don't know if this is even, like, acceptable. But... It's gonna be something. Oh, uh, no. This is... This... This is too scary to place a wall there. No, the wall is afraid of that. Okay. I need to find a spot the walls aren't afraid of. Um, are the walls afraid of this? No. Oh, the walls are okay with this one. Oh, no, they're afraid of that one, though. This way? No. No, that's that's too scary. Oh. Okay, that one's not too scary. Apparently that that amount is acceptable. Is this too scary? No. This is too scary though. Apparently that that amount is not acceptable. Oh, no, that amount's acceptable. Okay, okay, okay. Now it's listening. Okay, no, that's too scary. What about that? No, that's, that's fair. Oh, no, that's acceptable. This isn't acceptable, but this is acceptable. Okay, well, that's not too scary for the wall. Okay, put it up there. I go all the way up. Oh, no, that wall's too scary now. Or that wall's too scared to do that. Okay, let's put it up there. You have to remember that walls are living creatures. You can't scare them. You scare them, they won't place. You need to remember this. I advise all contractors to pay attention to this fact. Oh, that's acceptable. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. No, that's not acceptable. Acceptable? Oh, no, it's too scary. What about over here? Is this too scary? No, no, it's okay. It's not afraid. The walls aren't too afraid now. Good. Good. Don't want to spook them. Walls are very easy to spook. But stairs apparently aren't, based on this. Nope, that's too much. The, 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 
The roofs tend oh, roofs and walls tend to get scared really easily. That's what I've noticed so far. Stairs don't get scared easily. Slanted walls don't get scared easily. Wait, slanted walls don't get scared easily. I make this work somehow. I know this is scary. I know this is a scary wall to put you on, but I promise that if you just place, everything will be okay. Just need you to believe in me. Believe in me who believes in you. No. Oh, no. Uh, this one seems to be kind of scared of that. Okay, that's too scary. I, I, that's okay, I understand. Walls are scary. You know, either I am, like, the foremost in PAL World's interior design, or I'm a lunatic. Oh! Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Walls are afraid of this. But triangular walls aren't afraid of this. Okay, no, that's acceptable. That's acceptable, but only in that direction. Fortunately, now we have a different problem, but... Okay. I want to place some more ro more roofs here, but I don't want to startle them. No, I startled them. No, they can't be placed there. That's, that's too much. Oh, no, this one's less startled now. Now he's willing to place. Sorry for startling you before, Roof. With my terrible, terrible requests of being placed and doing your job. It's occurring to me that I have made so many spots for pals to get stuck. <laughs> this is like a he like a hellhole for for pals getting stuck in things. Oh, oh, what's that? Hold on. Oh, can I just put a, a wall there? I can put a wall there. Oh, can a wall go there? A wall can go there. Okay, I can build from the top down, and it's not. No, no, they're scared of this spot. Okay. That spot's too scary. Okay. No, that's too scary. And so is that. I will find something that does not scare my walls. It just might take a while. Like bending my head in real life trying to make this work. Okay, can you. Can you place like right up there? They are absolutely terrified. It's really, really hard to work when my, when my masonry is having so much fear. I can't place these ones either because they're afraid of the PAL box. Most of this is going to have to be raw stone wall because the power box is too scary and so are the walls. We just have too many things for them to be afraid of. Okay. They're, they're very... Walls are very gentle creatures. Have you ever seen someone get attacked by a wall? No, of course you haven't. Because they're gentle creatures. It's okay, Walls. I understand you, even if other people don't. I know you're trying your best. 
don't think they're trying their best. Oh, wait, why is that acceptable? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I found something. Okay, that's acceptable for some reason. Okay, okay, what about this? Oh, 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 that's acceptable. Okay. What about that way? No. Okay. Oh, that's acceptable. Okay, okay. I'm actually kind of like that. No, that won't work. I could do that. Oh god, that is a immediately pal get stuck in place. I don't want to be able to go in here, though. Okay, secret underground room. By underground, I mean not underground at all. I need to make sure that this, this area has enough support, because there's too many scared walls. Okay, can I find... Oh, oh, that's not too scary. Okay. Aww. Can I find... Okay, that's not too scary for it. Okay, we're starting to get some walls in here. They're just a bit weird. That's fine. Not every wall is perfect. And we have to accept them that way. At least that's what my therapist says. I think this is a good spot. I don't think any of this is a good spot, but that's that's besides the point. I need like Dorito roofs, like like these triangular walls, but triangular roofs. I feel like I can make some really cool stuff. I just need to, like, plan it. It's not sure how. <laughs> like, I have, I'm not even trying to figure out where to put things right now. I'm just trying to figure out how to place blocks. You know what? I'll put that there for now. What happens if this hap happens to a pal? They get stuck in purgatory, that's what happens. Okay. I need to unpurgatory them. Maybe I need some walls in here. Some not scary walls. Okay, you're a fearless wall. You can go up here somewhere, maybe. No, nope, no, nope, that's too scary. These are unbelievably timid creatures, which makes them very hard to work with. Now, here's the question that I think is most important to ask right now. Have we built too much to move our base? <laughs> No, I, I am I'm still gonna try to make this work, but I am <laughs> I admit I am having one of those moments where I'm wondering if any part of this is going to have any value as far as like I don't know, having value goes. Okay, oh no nope, that's too scary. Okay. Um 
Can I get, like, a triangle wall there? Yes. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's not too scary. I can accept that. So is that. Wait, why is that acceptable, but this isn't? Okay, well, I'll put this here, I guess. No. Oh, insufficient materials? I ran out of stone. <laughs> okay, well, I'll go get more stone. It's just unfortunate that's, that there's just so much fear involved in building walls. I just... I just want them to know that they can trust me. You need to build a relationship with your walls. That's the only way they'll know that they can trust you. And unless they know that they can trust you, they'll just... they'll forever be... I don't know. Scared, I guess. Maybe I need... Oh, I need triangu triangular stairs really badly. I can put this down here. Those stairs there, too? Yes. Yes, I can. Yes. Yes! I know you were brave, Wall, but I have to take you down. We can't be going around terrifying the walls too much more. They're already very scared from the looks of it. Oh, I was hoping that would work. Does this work in any way? Oh, that works for some reason. There's, like, no rhyme or reason to how this building system works. Like, I just, I cannot find a single, single, like, excuse for anything that's happening. Okay, what about this? Okay, that's acceptable, apparently. Can I put a normal wall there? No. Can I put a wall with a window? What, window walls braver? No, apparently not. Wait, hold on. Well, that looks awful. Oh, no, there's something here now. Okay, apparently I have startled... Okay, explain to me how this works. Oh, because I'm standing in the block. Wait, maybe I need to be farther away from these walls to not spook them. Maybe that's the problem, is I've been spooking them this entire time. And, like, they wanted to do what I asked them to do, but they were just too afraid. No, I've already done that. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I'm just too scary for these walls to accept. As a lord and master. You have to consider these things sometimes. I kind of want to use my tech points to, to, like, try to find some decent stuff here. No, I'm just going to unlock all the cool decorative shit. 
see if I can find something within all this to build the house out of better. <laughs> Yeah, that costs a lot of research points, but it's probably going to be worth it, maybe. Ooh, a box. Shelves. What do these look like? Well, first of all, you need to point them in the right direction. <laughs> For a second, I thought that Cativa on the right was Meowth. Oh, that actually has a... Does that have more space than the default chest? Or is that the same amount? This is... The long cabinet has more space. Hold on a second. Which thing did this come from? I think this is the antique storage set. Okay, hold on a second. So if you make ca like antique cabinets, you can make you can make storage that is better and cheaper than the base ones. Before you can get metal chests that can hold extra stuff. What about these? Even these are bigger. Okay, the long cabinet is 40 wood and 10 fiber. The chest is 15 wood and 5 stone. Well, the have fiber, these are actually better to build than they are than chests are, apparently. That's a thing, I guess. Oh god, I have too much stuff now. I would like to have a place to store things. So I'm going to make a cabinet. You know, there's actually a really good way to save on ingots. Rather than making metal chests, just make tons of cabinets. Okay, this is going to be a little bit slow. Wait, no, there's a special, there's a method to this. If you throw your mount, have, get on your mount, dismount, 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 <laughs> Damn it. No. No. Dismount, please. Oh, was it up in the air? Oh. What, what happened? Oh, God, where am I? Okay, if you do that, and you get your mount to ride... No, nope, this mount has decided he doesn't like me anymore. Now, if you tell them to ride, they'll come pick you up. And usually that will get you closer to where you're trying to go. Assuming that the mount system does not bug out in the process. Cool. Okay, so now I have much more space because I'm using a cabinet. Who knew? Cabinets were the way of the future. Where am I going 
going to put anything in a base like this. Hmm. Infrastructure. Okay, let's look at the infrastructure now. Where would I put a sauna or a hot spring? I guess I'd probably want to put it as close to the water as I could. Those aesthetics. Though we do have risk the run the risk that pals are going to fall in the water. Which is kind of a problem. It's the last thing we want is them falling in the water. Okay, here, let's do this. Um, okay, so that, I guess, is just going to be a fall risk. No, no, that's fine. Okay, cool. Cool, so we can put a hot springs in the corner. We also put some plantations down. Where should we put the plantations? Because we can put the plantations upstairs. You know, this, like, the hour and a half that this stream has been could just be put into one small video that just is streamer attempts to make bad house badly because <laughs> like fuck if that isn't what this is what is going on right now i might you know i could put some plantations up here Okay, I need some seeds. Specifically, I need berry seeds. Perfect. Berry seeds for when you want to plant someone named Berry. That should be enough. How do we make... Do we have everything that we need? I want the cooking pot. I need to bring some ingots and flame ore. Should bring some Paldeum fragments with me, though. Where the fuck those are. There we are. We are going to actually like go exploring sometime in the near future. We just have to I just want to do a bit more building first. Okay, so I want to have We need to have our plantations in some place that's kind of sunny. Like we don't need to, but I would like to because it looks cool. And actually makes sense. Why are you still here? Okay. Most important thing in this base is that everything makes sense. Swiftly on it. On a stone again. We're gonna need to put pal beds near a lot of this stuff. 
Like each each thing that works like okay. The ones that work on planting and watering need to have their own little spot here. So they don't have to run around too much, because if they have to run around too much, we're gonna have a problem. Which also means we need multiple feed boxes. Or we're gonna have issues. Hmm. Oh yeah, what do we need for the hot spring? I've completely forgotten where that is. Need stone, power fluids, and paldea. I brought some pal beds first. Overlaps with another object. What object are you overlapping with? And do you plan to tell me? <laughs> Probably not. Secret overlapping. Sure. Close enough. And here. Actually, wait, I can just put these on an angle. Sure, why not? It's not like the piles are going to fall out of bed or something just because they'd be rolling down a slope. This this base is getting like like more and more nonsensical. <laughs> so the problem is the pal box is down there, which means that anything I spawn is going to have to come all the way up here. Okay, so we need some people to do some planting. You do most things. Which, who should I send out places? I don't know, Fox Parks. Freddy's are pretty good at things. Deers. A Domud. Sure. That's probably fine. Oh, I need another prop bed. Some of you are going to have to sleep outside out front here. Why? Because the game will not let me place stuff in sensible locations. Wait a minute. No, hold on. I have some great spots to put pal beds. These totally won't be a trap that will get multiple pals caught and cause me lots of stress over time. It's for that they all use their beds anyways. Oh, something's scaring it. Well, that's fine, apparently. Cool, I'll call that good. Oh, that's good, apparently. But I need stone. Okay. Actually, I do need to uncover that, because I want stone. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? There's a Lift Monk statue back here? And, like, behind everything? How how would anyone find this? Well, I guess doing what I did, but, like... How was anyone supposed to find it? <laughs> and I found a little hidey hole. I 
I guess people do like wandering into holes. Kind of like the prerogative of the entire human race. I need to put something here to just, like, block any pals from trying to go this way. Wait, what? I can put stairs here? Okay. Apparently stairs go well here. Stairs to where? I do not know. I don't even know where I am. Roof. Star. No. Roof. Star. There. Stair. No. Bad stair. No. Stair. Oh wait, there's a rock there. That's that's too scary for them. I have to have to make it a very calm environment with no scary rocks in it, or they will freak out. Okay. I now have another way up. Because that was needed, I think. Maybe? No, definitely not. Actually, no, no I keep that. Sure, this isn't weird at all. What could be weird about this? This music is as strange as I feel building this. I need to go back and get more stairs. Or not stairs. God damn it, I have stairs on the brain. I need to go back and get more rocks to make stairs. Okay, there is more... There are more things than this on the soundtrack. Try that. Sounds the same. Probably not the same, but it sounds the same to me. I should actually leave some Peltium here. I'll just take it all with me. Over to the crazy base. I should have a bed here. Oh, I need one wool. Someone give me a single wool, please. Wants to sleep. That's fair, it is late. Okay. Flippy time. What happens if I put the bed here? Not use a bed without a roof. Okay. Yeah, that was the first problem that I thought of when I looked at this. I was like, yeah, this needs a roof. There's no other issues, but it needs a roof. What 
Wait, does that mean that if I put it here, it's fine? Because technically there's a roof. Yes, apparently this is fine. Hold on a second. How much can I push this stupidity? Wait, no, this doesn't have a roof over it anymore. That's a problem. It needs to have a roof over it still. But how much of it needs to have a roof over it is the question. This has some roof over some of it. Let's see, is this an acceptable place to sleep? Yes, apparently it is. This is acceptable. Well, and then we go off inside the wall. No, we need to actually, like, can we, actually, can we get out of here? We probably can't get out of here, can we? No, we're stuck. <laughs> well, I died in bed. This is what happens when you build your bed seven-eighths into a wall. Fine. Where is my stuff? Ah, there's all my stuff. You know, in the wall where I left it. We found an easy way to get out of bounds, build a fucking bed. Apparently. Oh no, this bed doesn't have a, a big enough roof. That's a problem. Build it seven-eighths in the wall, but... That's... no. No, it needs a, it needs a good roof. Okay, this does work. It doesn't end me in the wall. Cool. What I've always wanted is a bedroom in the middle of a giant chasm surrounded by deer and foxes. What could possibly go wrong? Nope, it's too scared of that. Let's try this. Okay, that's less scary, apparently. Oh yeah, it's, that's, it's scared of the stairs, so I can't put it there yet. Like these, I'm going to have to demolish those stairs so I can put up walls. Lest I spook the walls. Yep, this wall is too spooked to be placed. Hold on, I need to... Okay, you have a safe environment to live now. There's no stairs that are going to come and get you. I promise. Ah! Stairs, fucker! Look, I know you're hungry, I'm working on it. Oh. Wait, we have berries up here. Let's come up here and have the berries. Oh, right, yes. Pals can't traverse different levels. We had this conversation and I forgot. Like, immediately.
And this is one of my favorite songs from the Heady soundtrack. Okay. So there... Hey, doof. Over there. Eat. Thank you. Imagine, like, you're taking care of kids, and the only way to get them to eat is to pick them up and throw them at the table. That's basically what it is like to have pals in Pal World. Like having children, but you throw them a lot more. Or a lot less, depending on your parenting style. I don't know what you mean. This is totally connected to a structure. What could possibly be wrong with this? Wall. No, let's make it stone. It's too dumb otherwise. Ah, put the door there. Wait, I can't have a door and a deer. Doors and deers don't really go together, unfortunately. Hold on, I can build the wall first. Does this have snow? It's still not connected to a structure. Oh, but that's that's connected enough. Okay, the deer can get back in and, in and out. Let's just make sure that it was fine. Good. Now we have a structurally sound building. You good? Nope, the deer can't get out. Okay. Hmm, that's not gonna work. Okay, we'll have to go like that. Sure, that's... That looks okay, I guess. Doesn't. It does not look okay. No part of this looks okay. I would be lying if I said it looked okay. Okay. I guess I'll put that there. Was that there because I couldn't place a wall? Yeah. This also can't have a wall. That there. There. Good. Now, pals probably won't get stuck in there. They're absolutely getting stuck in there. Sure, that'll have to be good enough. Uh, hold on. You were definitely connected to a structure. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm slowly making a monstrosity. <laughs> Perfect. We just... Unfortunately, when you play a game like this, sometimes you have to jump through some hoops to build. Yes, I jumped through the hoop. Okay. I jumped through the higher hoop, though. Okay, hold on. Get a running start for this door. Ah, no. I need no, 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 that's not how we do this. Now you need to jump, open the door. Okay, door's open now. Can we get through the door? We need to make sure that this door is working fine. And to do that, we have to jump through it. Okay, 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 we can get through the door. Perfect. It's exactly how I want the doors to be. There's nothing wrong with this. I 
I've successfully destroyed the majesty of this area and made an absolute monstrosity that does not deserve to exist. Well, that's a thing, I guess. God, I keep I keep forgetting the black marketeer is here and he keeps creeping me out every time I see him. Wish I could capture him. Okay, let me press it. You can capture him. It's just that you need to be able some like a sphere that can capture level 40. I don't have a sphere that can capture level 40. I don't even have a flying mount yet. Speaking of which, we should go do that. Why are you hungry? Your food's right here. Stop complaining. Here, I have to go put my rocks in the cabinet now. Now remember, cabinets are for rocks only. It's an easy system if you consider how cabinets are usually used for rocks. Okay, let's go get us a flying mount. I don't think we have a flying mount yet. No, we don't. We have anything that can be a flying mount. No, we don't. Okay. I mean, the ideal flying mount would be the Nightwing over here. We can see if we can get that. This... This love boss is only level 18. I'm level 28. If I die to this, I would not be surprised because it is actually a really pa big pain in the ass kind of boss. What happened to the cat I ran over? He got away. Rebunny! Keep running it over. Then I can throw balls at it. This is how you play Pokemon, right? You just run over the creatures with a deer, and then you capture them. That makes sense. Yeah, at least. Beware my deer! Oh, you're too big for me, apparently. Okay. Ooh, I could get some Dinosums, maybe. They're kind of Dinosum. Oh. Well, I mean, I need to hit them for that, and that's not necessarily as easy as it sounds. Flying Lord. You know, I could have built in a zone like this, where, like, there's lots of space, but no, I decided I wanted to build... And the worst possible spot for the building system that is currently in this game. There's a Duma boss somewhere around here. Should hit that on the way. I think it's this lake here. No. Which lake is it? Oh, I've walked past it. This way? Might as well kill it while I'm coming by. Because the ancient technology parts are valuable. Oh! There's a normal Nightwing there. Oh my gosh, I hit it. <laughs> that surprises me. Ah! No. 
No! No! Not that button! I keep using the wrong button. Whoa, whoa, what, what was that just in the information about the PAL? It just said it carries newborn PALs to its nest, raises them, and then hunts them for sport. That's not fucked up at all. I'm still going the right way. Yes. Let's see if I can powerbomb this thing properly or not. Missed. Missed. Let's try this again. Powerbomb. No. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try this with a rocket launcher. See if this goes better. That went a little bit better. Okay, Joel, Joel Tog Chris, you're actually a pretty good pick for this. Oh, you have Power Bomb too. Oh no. No, come back here. I need you. Ah. The power bombs are bigger than the Jolt Hawk himself. If I nope, I'm about to die. Which is how I died to this every time I've died to this. Has been, I've been about to catch it, and then I died when it broke out. Oh my gosh, I actually caught the boss. That was kind of lucky. I need more T-phones. Apparently. Gonna catch some of this stuff just for the XP bonus. Yep, 29. Okay, we need to find our way home now so that we can get our flying mount. There is a area over here. Yeah, there's a uh, waypoint right there. However, there's also a lot of T-Pons to hunt here. No, nope, not that! I meant to do that. Oh. Well, okay, I didn't want to die in the process. I was really hoping to catch it. No, not that. Yeah, Great Sphere, I need more of those. I always forget, so you need- if you zoom in, you can use your own weapon. Otherwise, you're going to be using the, the uh, abilities of the PAL itself. Okay. 
catch a few of these. Trying to juggle this many at once is kind of dangerous, actually, because they might be small, but like they will do a like damage over a notable amount of damage over time. Because I am playing on hard, so they are dealing triple damage. So even like the small ones can be kind of dangerous sometimes. If they get enough shots off, and there's enough of them. There we go. I have to be careful because I actually am. A oh, I'm I'm starving. No, don't starve. No, I don't. No, no, nope, wrong one. It's so hard to to not kill these guys when you're trying to weaken them. I wish there was a pal with false swipe. Like in Pokemon, where you have an ability that can reduce them to like one health, or like a weapon that can reduce them to one health. There's the uh, stun baton, but it does almost no damage, even to like level three pals, to the point that I wouldn't even consider it worth having. I'm happy I have such a large deer, or this would be hard to be in this amount of water. Thankfully, I have a giant fuck-off deer. Hello, Kelpsy. You're in danger. Oh, God. No. No, see, the one who's in danger is me, actually. I should have just got the waypoint. I got distracted. Got distracted again. <laughs> Wait, what? A death chest with one, two wood in it. Hey. Right? Uh, okay. That's weird. Okay, I should be able to head straight over there to the waypoint. Is, is it really this way? Yeah, it's that way. I see the death beacon. need to remember to just ignore the pals I'm seeing and go to the death beacon. Not worry too much. Shouldn't be fighting things. I have no armor. I have no spheres to catch anything. Need to just go over to the waypoint, get the waypoint, pick up my stuff, and leave. Actually, it doesn't matter what I do after that. I just have to get my stuff back. Because I have a tendency to get distracted. I need to not get distracted this time. There we go. Now I can get distracted safely. No, I can't get distracted. I have not picked up my stuff. I just had this conversation with myself. This is why I was more warning myself against myself. Was that I know that I do these things to myself. Like this, for example. Like, I do this to myself. At least I can fast travel there this time. 
This is why we always, always go and get our stuff first. We do not attack things before we have our stuff, even if we have a powerful mount. Made this mistake before. You are the mount's weak point. You are like the super headshot if they hit you. You can't have them hit you, or you will die. Oh, no silver key. I'm definitely getting distracted again. Okay, I'm just going to check what this cage is over here. And then I'm going to go back to the waypoint. And then I'm going to bring it home. Then I'm going to get the flyer. And then I'm going to have something. No, I'm going home already. Never mind. <laughs> I would say, I swear I'm better at the game, but you know what, maybe I'm not. <laughs> uh, why do I suck at this game so much? Not all the time, just sometimes. Sometimes I really suck at this game. And I totally could have picked up my mouth there, and I didn't do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am a comedy of errors, I realize this. I don't need the tansy in there. What we need is better pals. And maybe some better armor. And so on. Also food. Food is good too. There's a few creatures I'd really like to catch if I can manage it. Now that I have my Nightwing, the next flying mount I'm going to want is the Van Worm. Because they're kind of amazing. Goryet looks pretty cool. Who should I bring with me? I'll bring my Felhog. Felhog? Fel bat instead of my Jolt Hog. That's what I was trying to say. Actually, no, I can just leave Porkchop behind, because I don't need him right now. Oh, yeah, I need to actually make the saddle. I forgot about that. That's kind of important to being able to fly, is to make the saddle for the thing you want to fly. I haven't had the, uh, the blueprint till now, because I haven't had the Nightwing capture. You need to capture something before you can actually make stuff for it. Okay, I need cloth. Put a non-zero amount into work speed, and it's still so slow. Wait a minute, hold on a second. I have pals for this. For this. Here. Eh. 
Now we can do it together. Well, that was a very short-lived help. Though his name is still on here as helping me, which means that he's going to be back as soon as he does. Yep, there he goes. So this is something I've actually noticed about pals, is the instinct that I've noticed a lot of people have, and I certainly had at the start, was, oh, so this pal has watering, handiwork, uh, cooling, and transporting. That means that this is kind of an ideal pal to have in your base, right? No, I would say not. Honestly, it's better to have one or maybe two stats that it can work on and nothing else, because all four of those things are things that it can get distracted with from the task you're trying to get it to do. Like, for example, this Vixie is not supposed to be harvesting. They're supposed to be in the ranch. And you can assign them to the ranch manually, like that, and they'll stay in the ranch to some extent, but the, the assignments, the fixed assignments, don't stick. For whatever reason. Like, see, here. No. I assigned you to this. Stay in there. No. No. I assigned you to this. Stay in there. Anyone else? Anyone else gonna cause trouble? I think this is the only one that hasn't tried to leave, so I'm gonna fix a sign it. Anyone else gonna cause trouble? Okay, no. Now they're finally all staying in there. But as soon as I leave and come back, they're just gonna do their thing again. This is one of the unfortunate things about them. They have like negative five in attention span. Some might ask, well, are you one to talk about that? And I might say, shush. Okay. Are you fixed assignment to here? Oh yeah, you're fixed assignment to here, okay. I should have some megaspheres on me, actually. And since we're in uh zero dot one dot four dot one now. We can upgrade our catch rate now, rather than avoiding upgrade upgrading it because it wasn't helping before. Now it does help. Very nice. Sleepy time. Who do I have with me? I have a strong grass grass person. I have a strong dark type. A decent ice type. Kinda. I have... This is not a combat character. And I have my just general damage character. Or creature. I need to replace Stone Cannon with, like, anything else. That's not a good pick for him. I mean, he has his Antler Strike for movement, and he has his Power Bomb for damage. So, what's left? Machine Gun, Ice Missile, Icicle Cutter, Plasma Tornado... Aquagon, Dragon Burst. 
Dragon Burst is an AoE skill. It's pretty good. But not really what I'd be using him for. I'm after Plasma Tornado. Let's try this. I don't I don't know anything about what Plasma Tornado is like. Hey. Plasma Tornado. What the? That was not very tornado-y. Also, it went in a weird direction. Is this heat-seeking, perhaps? Here, I'm gonna aim this way. Let's see what happens. No. Oh, okay, I don't know what it's aiming at. Creates two balls of electricity that fire numerous bolts of lightning at enemies. At enemies? Kinda. It loosely does. I don't know if I would call that completely at enemies, but it's it's trying. Actually, hold on a second. I want to go get some XP, and the best way to do that is to kill bosses. Dungeon bosses are an easy pick for that. Or killer capture. Both are decent. Though usually capturing is better if you have less if you've caught less than ten of them. That particular thing. Also, it's been four seconds. I've forgotten why I'm out here. Oh yeah, I was gonna look into getting a dire howl friend with me. Just cause dire howls move pretty fast. And I do like Urkel, but he's not gonna be able to move very well in a dungeon. Do I have the saddle? I do not have the saddle. Okay. So I need wood. Oh. So that's not going to be too much of a trouble. I have 3,000. I'm 9,000 of 700 weight. <laughs> okay. Well, problem solved. Okay, anyone... Unfortunately, he's ethereal, so I can't pick him up right now. I'm going to need to grab him. Take you up. And you're getting a sign to help me with this. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, I have a Dire Howl saddle now. Dire Howls are really fast, too. That's much better. I w just want something so I can quickly go through the dungeon. I have damaging pals like the uh, Robin Quill and the Felbat if I need them. Or when I need them. You don't really do much damage, but you're also only level 11. The Dire Howl needs... Oh, level 12. The Dire Howl needs the XP more than the rest of my party. So this probably is not the Dire Howl I'm going to keep. This is just a Dire Howl.
Madara leveled up again. We'll catch spoils of war. And I wish their catch rate wasn't so low on the dudes, or I'd catch more of them. Okay, what do we have? Boss. Boss. Box parks, no. What do we have? A Dinosum. Ooh, that's nice. Do I, have any, I don't think I have anyone with fire, though. That's unfortunate. Ice is probably good against it. It is only level 10, and this is level 24. Let's go lob my Jolt Hog at it and see what happens. That went well. Gonna shoot it one more time. Two thousand XP to everyone. Dragon cannon skill fruit. One's dragon cannon. Oh, that's the really fast one. It actually, Dragon Cannon actually would be a good pick for me to put on, any, like, pretty much any of these. But, I don't think I'm going to keep them long enough for that. Okay, so we're going to fast travel, and we're going to kill some bosses. We have to chill it. Wait, no, we have a flying mount now. Up, up, and away. Who should I go with? Uh, I'll go with Robin Quill. He's 16 levels above the chillet anyways. Holy shit! Oh no, I should save... Okay, saved him. <laughs> Chillet is a very good pickup, anyways. There we go. Thousands of XP for everyone. Okay. Back to the waypoint. Teleport to the Pen King. Pen King's a bit rougher because he's in his own little area. And it's harder when they have their own arena. It's like, it's kind of their home turf. I can't believe I caught that. Here I was just going to teleport away when it failed. Pen King's also dangerous because he is a water ice type, 
which means that it's not that me it means it's immune to or it's neutral to uh electric and neutral to fire so i'm probably going to put robin quill up against it even though robin quill is weak to it Okay, hopefully that's enough. He's got some very good AoE stuff with the Seed Bomb. Seed Mine? There's a name for it. I forget what it is. Oh. Oh well. I was hoping to catch him, but I could, we can find more Pen Kings. We got the ancient parts, more importantly, and we got the XP. Starhouse level up, Nightwings leveled up, Armco leveled up. Uh, actually, seeing as we have Felbat, we can go up against King Paka. That would actually be a decent play, I think, because King Paka is neutral, which is weak to dark. believe. I'm like 90% sure. South. South. West? No, it's just pure south. Nightwing learn power bomb? Oh, nice. Oh yeah, this is the uh, King Paka arena. There he is. Okay. Oh, I'm still too far away. That surprises me. You don't need to tell me what Felbat's ability is. I already know what Felbat's ability is. I don't know why it told me again. Yep. Okay, Dark is highly effective against Neutral. I'm just going to take care of the Melpacas. And I can focus on the king. I find the ads are like some of the most dangerous parts of the boss fights in this game. Is there's just these ads that start like picking away at you, and it's just enough, like combined to fuck you up. Uh, except when the boss does that, that's not good. At level 30, at least. Give me some more work speed. Okay. I don't know if the King Pack is neutral, but I'm pretty sure the Mel Packers are. Okay, yeah. They're fine with me wandering around. Let's clear out the Rush or two. Okay. I hope Felbat can distract them to some extent. 
Need to not miss. Okay, the male Paca seems distracted. Work on the King Paca. What? What just happened? I need to be careful. I picked the Melpaca, because despite its level, it is actually dangerous to me. Okay, thankfully that's not targeted. That is not targeted either. Power bomb is great if you can hit with it, otherwise it sucks. No! Nope! Ha! Ah, you suck at terrain, and that is your weakness. Go back, can you do a little more damage? There we go. This should be enough. No, maybe not. Okay, I'll hit him again. Actually, no, he could take another shot, too. I'm only doing 24. No, okay, that's good. Ooh, ancient technology and some civ parts. How are we doing on that? We can get the essence condenser. I'm gonna hold off for the hip lantern next because it's really good. Oh, I could ride the king pa king pack. I forgot about that. I'm gonna avoid. Oh, chill it, saddle. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid a lot of the other stuff that I can get. Maybe not a great sphere, please. That's kind of overkill for a Vixie. I don't know if I have 10 rush ores yet or not. Yes, I do. In that case, I'll just take your leather. Die hi. Okay, where should we go next? We haven't actually done the Rain Syndicate Tower boss fight yet. We could go do that at some point. The problem is that it's an electric type, and that means I need ground moves. And guess what I don't have? Ground moves. I don't really have any like really reliable high damage creatures except for Robin Quill and Felbat. Actually, what do you mean call how about that high damage? Uh, okay, Dark Ball sucks. I do not want that. Also, I need to set up its moves properly, and then it'll be better. Poison Blast. Shadow Burst. That's the AoE. That's the, the single target. And this is the triple single target. And Dark Ball takes forever. Always get rid of that. <laughs> okay, this will be better. So Felbat, Robin Quill are both good, and the other ones suck.
<laughs> now, I don't think I have enough stuff to go up against Grizzbolt yet. He's pretty strong. I ideally want to at least have a musket. I don't want to be going up against him with a crossbow. I think I can make a musket. I think I've been able to make a musket for several levels now. It was like I think it's like level 26 or something. Level 21, yeah, well, that's a long time ago. Yeah, that would help to have a musket. Unfortunately, the handguns kind of suck. Otherwise, I would make one of those. But this is not worth 50 ingots and 15 high-quality pal oil. Absolutely not. Nope, it is crap. Not you. Onwards! Let's see, where is the boss room? Oh, he's more powerful now, I guess, because he's level 24. He still can't one-shot a level 9, apparently. Oh, well. These things... We like Dire Howls because they're fast, not because of other things, really. That is their one benefit, is they're fast. Okay, there we go. Eh. Eh. My fox... Fox. My, my wolf has such stubby little legs. I'm sorry, Mal, but I need to capture you. I need several of you. Ideally. Not because I want to use them. Because I need... Just want the XP. Unfortunately, the gold digger ability they have, which is you put them in a ranch and they drop gold sometimes, is just vastly inferior to pretty much anything else you can put in a ranch. I was facing the wrong way. Okay, I can... Oh, I thought that was a multi-hit thing. It's not. Wedding Thugs is not actually very good XP. And they're drops of shit. And we have a pingolet. Ooh. Why does it say ate too much above the pingolet? He ate too much? What happened? Well, okay, I want a giant rocket launcher, buddy. I wonder if the rocket launcher scales with the size of the pingolet. That'd be very funny if it does. Oh god, okay, now I, I need to get off of this wolf. I'm not, not good enough on him. Thank god for lifesteal. Oh, 
Okay, now I st now now I now I capture him. Ooh, okay, good. Let's see if the size of the rocket launcher scales up with the size of the pinglet, because the pinglet is bigger and it has to fit in the rocket launcher. Theoretically. Unless it's just bigger than the rocket launcher, which would also be funny. No, I don't want to kill you. There we go. Let's go find out if we can make if we get a giant rocket launcher with our pinglet boss. And we will end the stream by blowing something up. At least that's the plan. I mean, it's not going to be very high level since it's only a level 10 boss. But it is a boss, so it does have better stats on average. Okay, I'll trade out the Joltog. Uh, let's... Oh my gosh, look how big he is by comparison to the other pangolets. Oh my gosh, he's so big! Now it's time to see what happens with the rocket launcher. So I pick up the horde of pal spheres because I don't want them to all go away and despawn. That'd be sad. Okay, why am I hungry? I have... I have food, don't I? Nope, that's the problem. I wish it went back into your, into your uh, food slot after you die, and like everything goes back in your inventory. Okay, what should we hit with a rocket launcher? I can't think of anything in particular. We killed most of the small bosses now. Go here. Maybe there's just something random we can hit with the rocket launcher. Okay, so. Do we get a giant rocket launcher with this pinglet? That is the question. And there is a helpful group of test subjects over here to help us figure out the answer to that question. Okay, so, step one, summon Pinglet. Step two, load rocket launcher. Uh... I don't know what just happened, but that pinglet just got stuffed in that rocket launcher. In a rather unfair way. Oh, that doesn't have much fall on it. Oh, sorry, pinglet. I was expecting to, like, lob it over, but that's not what happened. <laughs> Here, let me just sneakily take this, uh... Tangerine? Tansy, that's the word. <laughs> I am very sad that you do not get a giant rocket launcher. That would have been a nice touch if the giant pingolet gives you a giant rocket launcher. But the stats are still better. So at least you do know that you will be getting some benefit out of having a boss one. Wait, how come my grass cutter doesn't go through trees, but but the enemy grass cutter does? Hmm. <laughs> or wind cutter, not grass cutter.
Well, at least it's leveling up the pinglet. So level them up too. I mean that I don't manage to do something like that. No, I leveled up them anyway. Whatever. We did it! Yay! Oh, here, no, I know, I know a good way to end this. Let me go get the other pingolet since this one isn't leveled up. There's someone I want to make the acquaintance of. So right across the stream here is a boss Felbat. And I would love to have a boosted power Felbat to go with my team. Because I like my Felbat, but I'd like my Felbat more if it had just like a fuck ton of extra damage. That really wouldn't make me sad if it if it had more. I'd be quite happy, actually. Problem of the Abyssal Knights. Who should I put up against this, then? I guess... I mean, I'm going to use my, my Pangolet. But I think I'm going to swap to my Robin Quill immediately. Oh, Ice Glow Cutter, good. Um, nope, that's not the right thing. No. Not Felbat. I like Robin Quill because it like really suits a dead eye kind of uh, play style where you go for headshots a lot and like actually fight yourself because the Hawkeye skill partner skill that it has increases your damage to weak points. Oh, it's coming to Dark Pulse me. Dark Pulse? Ow, I thought I was out of that. This music is very fitting. I love you, Robin Quill. You're so good. I'll shoot it one more time if it comes out. Okay, it can take another crit. Okay, it's at 32 health. I can't... I'm not going to risk it anymore. Having a boss fell back would be really nice. Don't kill me. Or yourself. Both would be bad. Also, I'm going to get Ancient Technology points from this, which allows me to get a Hip Lantern. Done. Ooh. Oh, my Pinglet just learned ice Icicle Cutter. I thought I had Icicle Cutter already. I mean, Icicle Cutter is obscenely good. It's one of the better skills, that's for sure. I don't know the difference between Hydro Jet and Aqua Gun, but... Yeah. Anyways. Let's pause the music. 
Thank you all for watching today. I really appreciate it. We're going to be playing some more Power World in the future. Now that the uh, Path of Exile League is winding down, I still intend to do some more Path of Exile content before the League ends, but for now we're going to be doing a lot more of other things. Power World being one of those things. Okay. So, for those on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. If you like this content, remember to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. It always helps. And it will help me know what to put into future videos. Thank you so much, and have a good night.